it's not always easy keeping your house in order. But don't worry, help is at hand. Ah! Look at this! Oh. That is solid. You can take back control of your home with a number of common sense hacks. And the best thing, you still got all of your storage. Simple fixes. That'll do nicely. And clever cleans. That is just cleaning. Forget expensive renovations. Oh, my, my God. God. We'll show you how to make life-changing home improvements in just one day. I absolutely love it. I don't think it's ever looked that good before. <laughs> the don't bust the bank balance. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. You managed to do this in a day. Absolutely brilliant. I'm getting your tearing off. Oh. Our team of experts is here to help. The old tool belt's coming out. Well, That's how I know you're serious. Master builder Tommy Walsh brings over 50 years of DIY experience. Solid as a rock. Maxine Dwyer runs one of the UK's top extreme cleaning companies. That's what I mean by squeaky clean. And creative carpenter Asher Edwards prides himself on being a perfectionist. I am good. Just a little bit. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> so, which household has sent a distress call today? We're the Swambras. I'm Sue and this is Steve. Steve has a form of muscular dystrophy which is, affects his mobility greatly. Very little walking now, using a wheelchair, get out to the garage. It gets worse over the years, so it does make it difficult for me to get around. Steve's condition is not going to get better. Um, we, we cope, there's no moaning there, but I would like things a little bit easier for me. This is, well, it's our palace, our chateau, really, because we do love living here. The couple live in a two-bedroom bungalow in South Gloucestershire, but their home is small and on one level. So they rely heavily on their adjoining shed and garage for storage, and both have become disorganised dumping grounds. This is the really bad part of our property. The shed is, is fine and lovely size, but it's old, everything's rusty, everything is piled in one corner. It's a mucky place, it's horrible. I hate coming in here. I do chuck things in, and it'd be so good to have it tidy, you can see where things are. The shed is in the back garden, and they should be able to walk through it to access the garage without leaving the property. We've got Steve's two mobility scooters, one to go in the back of the car, which goes in into the boot, and then the big one for walks and that. I have to keep them on charge, they have to be kept in here, it's the only safe place, really. But at the moment, the shed is so cluttered, there's not enough room for Sue to wheel Steve through. Instead, they have to go the long way round to get to his scooters. I do need some help out in the garage, in the shed, to say, right, this is how you could look after it now, Sue, and keep it nice, nice and tidy. so then Steve can go through to the garage to get onto his mobility scooter. And to make it tidy for me to be able to walk in without the fear of tripping. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was all tidied up and if it didn't take off the floor. Because like you say, it's a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. It is, isn't it? While Sue stays on top of planting in the garden, tougher jobs like keeping the pathways clear of moss have gone by the wayside. And, in addition to caring for Steve, she's a volunteer, packing birdseed from home which is sold to raise funds for a local park. It would be lovely to use that shed as a packing station for our voluntary work. Really, really hope you could help us. Um, it would make life so much easier for you and for me. Yes. Whatever you can do, it would be really great. If it makes it easier for Steve, then it makes it easier for me. And we're together as a team, so it would be lovely to hear from you. It's the day of the big clean and fix. Right, let's go then. With a the team heading to help, 
Sue and Steve leave to give them free reign to prove you can make a difference in just one day on a family-friendly budget. The temperature's rising. It's going to be a real tough job today in the conditions. But that's what we're here to do. It's going to be a hot one today. It is. Definitely. I brought my flannel with me tonight. What do you think that'll change the weather? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I'm heading out back. Oh, wow. <laughs> they've got a lot of stuff in there. What's even more annoying is they've got a lot of empty wall space as well, so they're not really utilising the storage as best as possible. <laughs> this unit has seen better days as well. Oh, dear. It's probably older than me. Well, no, facts. It definitely is older than me, this. Hi, Asha. Maxine! Hello, my dear. Look at all of this mess. Yeah. Well, what we need to do, get everything off the floor. Yes. What about this bit? We need to clean this area as well. Okay. The easier we can make things for Sue, yes. the better. Yeah, make it feel a bit more welcoming to come Yes, in. lovely. Sue and Steve love spending time in their garden. But now the upkeep rests with Sue, pathways have been neglected. So Tommy's years of experience will come in handy. So we've got three or four different surfaces. It's a mixture of paving, there's a mixture of gravel. I've got a few things come to mind. The team have their missions for the day. Better go get my tools. The cluttered shed needs to be reorganised so Steve can access the garage easily from the garden. It's crying out for clever storage solutions that will give Sue space for her voluntary work. The shed would be given a refresh to make it a place that the couple want to visit rather than a depressing, unsafe hazard. The garden needs some Tommy touches to make it more manageable for Sue. Nothing will be thrown away, just set aside for Sue to sort through at her leisure. If the team are going to get everything done in just one day and on a minimal budget, they need to get started. With the base of the shed cleared, Maxine's getting rid of the cobwebs from the top down. Sounds like hard work. It is hard work. It's... I've got something here that might make your life a little easier. Blow everything in. <laughs> It gets it in all the nooks and crannies, you know. Oh, that's brilliant! Thank you! <laughs> oh, that's you enjoyed brilliant. that too much? Ah, uh, definitely, yes. <laughs> Be off with you. This little tool here is a great bit of kit because it allows you to clean the patios off without blasting all the jointing out. These are the two water spinners. It spins round in here and contains the cleaning to within this machine. To be the thing about decking or paving, any hard surface, it's crucial that it's maintained. So you've got to wash it at least once every couple of months. You can use a detergent to help dissolve dirt, which should be applied to the surface first. But if you do, take care when using the washer near plants. Just cold water and pressure. You get the pressure with a little bit of help. <laughs> right. I am using my third tool to get rid of the cobwebs and the dust and all kinds of leaves and stuff. The blower Tommy provided won't work on the clingy cobwebs. The shed hasn't been swept or vacuumed or had attention paid to it for quite a while. If you want it to look nice, just once in a while come along with a vacuum cleaner broom and spruce it up. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm getting rid of the bits and bobs and and oh a spider. I'm not gonna get rid of the spider. He's running along, he's lost his hole, but he's gonna build one back again. <laughs> one final wall needs clearing and Maxine's giving herself another mission. Asha, yes. don't disappear. Oh. Can I have a hand to take this outside, please? Sure. Yeah. Um, because I, I need to work on it out there. OK, cool. Storage is key to make the shed more user-friendly, so Maxine will try to clean up this old rusty shelving unit rather than lose it. Now be careful. Oh. Whoa! Nearly got my head. Uh-uh. Wow, hold on. You're cool, man. You're cool. Yay! You're cool. You're cool. Just You're cool. about. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, right here, perfect. Ready? Let's lay this down. All right. I'm gonna leave you to it. Thank you very much. No problem. Nice one. Okay. Now Maxine's cleaned the shed. The plan is to make this area accessible and more welcoming. It looks like they've knocked through their garage wall straight into their garden, and it's left a bit of a, a rough look. Now I'm thinking of housing all this chipped and broken brickwork and block work. I want to make it a bit nicer to the eyes. Tommy, hello, my dear. What's the matter? Can I borrow your jet wash? What? What for? For the shelf. Just needs cleaning. I'm going to blast it. You just want to have a go at this, don't you? Yeah, I do. This is All brilliant. Right. Well, what I do, let me just finish off this this area here. Okay. This is the last area left to clean that. Look how it's come up. It's amazing. And uh, wonderful. You don't. I haven't taken all the moss out. Some of it came out with the machine. Yeah. But I didn't want to take it all out because it wants that sort of authenticity, you know. Yeah. And also, if you try to blast it out too much, you end up taking all the pointing out. Operating a jet wash can take practice. So on this handle, this is what we call a lance. Yeah. On here comes up all boosters. If you go to the highest boost rate, yeah. that gives you more power. All right? See you later. I'll give you a shout in a minute. <laughs> OK. <laughs> the thing is, is she going to use it properly? I'll be keeping a close eye on her. The shelves will sit alongside the box Asher's putting together to cover the rough brick wall. So I've got my pieces of MDF cut to size. I've got 45 degree cuts on the ends. And what I'm going to do now is glue and piece these all together so it will create a nice wrap around those dodgy bricks. The type of MDF I've used is moisture resistant. And you can tell by looking down the middle. This piece here is an offcut of the moisture resistant MDF. You can tell because it's green inside. This is just standard original MDF and it's brown throughout. So that's the, that's the way to tell the difference between types of MDF. There's also a red MDF, which is fire resistant. In the outdoor area, it's better to have a moisture resistant MDF. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, so it will stand longer against the elements. So, to glue these pieces together, I'm going to line up my cuts and then run a piece of masking tape on the back. And what the masking tape is going to do is hold the MDF perfectly in place, so when I fold it and wrap it together, all the pieces will stay in the right place and hold by the glue sets. We've got the nice joint right there. PVA will sit in the middle. Fold it up. This miter clamp will hold this perfectly at 45. I've been so looking forward to using this. I can't wait. The shelves have been in the shed for years and moisture and humidity have slowly corroded the steel. This is going to free up the loose paint and debris that's on the unit. Ready for it to get a fresh lick of paint. Walking in and out of here continuously 
didn't notice that the door and the frame are past the sell-by date. So what we're going to do is sand it down, undercoat it, top coat it, and give it a new lease of life. Ash has already stiffened up the frame with some timber behind here. So now we've got to do is just smarten it up. First of all, trust the old sander. You can hire a sander for around £35 a day. Or regular sandpaper will do the job. Wrap it around a piece of wood to give you something to hold on to and protect your hands. I thought I'd have to give it um, a power wash, but then looking at it close up, I think the, uh, the sander will work better. It will give it a key and it will pretty it all up. It'll look really nice when it's done. The inside of the shed is coming along well. The shelves are also getting a new lease of life. This looks absolutely amazing. And it's quick drying. It's metal paint. Metal paint has a strong coating that will bond to the surface it's covering. Fit for a garage. <laughs> Fit for a shed. We're going to make it rust free. Wonderful. It goes on so beautifully. Look at this. <gasps> I don't think Sue and Steve will recognise this when they come home. It's going to look like a brand new shelf. An hour or so ago, we felt this was fit for the bin. <laughs> Dump it in the skip. But no, this is good to last for another 40 years, I reckon. Definitely. Beautiful. That is much nicer to look at than all those chipped bricks and blocks. So what I'm going to do to fix it is shoot a line of adhesive on the bricks and then a few screws down the side just to hold it in place on both sides. Right, let me get some drills and some screws. But before that, he's got to help Maxine. Maxine! Hello, Asha. Is that you, yeah? Yes, of course. OK. Wait, let me, let me. You done the bottom as well. Yes, of course. If, if Sue's sitting on her chair, she's going to look, look up. up. Levels, levels. Perfection. Oh, lovely. It looks good. We've just got to get it inside, haven't we? All right, you want me to help you bring it in? Yes, please. No problem. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Careful of the dust sheet. Don't trip up, you know. Right. I think the floor's uneven. Let's spin it around the opposite way. Oh, OK. OK, so come to you. Yep. You go round. Round, you go round, round, round. And then... Beautiful. Asha now needs to make something Sue can use for her charity work. I order in three huge bags of birdseed. We sit, friends come over for the cup of tea, and we sit there for a couple of hours and fill hundreds of bags up. They get stored in the garage, and all profits are ploughed back into making our park as good as it is. It really is good. In order to pack the birdseed, Sue and her fellow volunteers need a sturdy surface. And Asher's the man with a plan. OK, so I've got this flat pack unit. So I'm going to assemble this together. And then the plan is I'm actually going to use this material right here as a worktop to sit on top of the unit. So that should give Sue enough space when she's doing her volunteering work. And then I'm going to put the whole unit on casters as well, so spin around, move it. She's got the, the freedom and flexibility. Using off-the-shelf flat packs can save time and money. Organisation is the key. I always like to count all my pieces, make sure I have everything I need. Cool, we're good to go. Woo! And just like that, our unit is together. It's just a few hours before Sue and Steve return. So much to do. I've got the floor to clean, and so time is against us now. 
I need a dust palette brush and a cloth. By adding a worktop larger than the unit, Asha has created a table space for Sue and her friends to sit around. So drilling this hole with a piece of timber behind will stop any breakout on the opposite side. So you get a nice, clean hole. Nice! I'm going to clean this window. Just brush, brush, brush. This is a bit dirtier than your average house window. The trellis makes it tricky to clean the exterior glass. There we go. I don't want to disturb Susan's handiwork. Look, beautiful. But I'm still going to try and see if I can give it a bit of a clean. Anything is better than nothing. Wow, that's brilliant. It looks lovely from outside. Let's hope inside, looking out, looks just as good. With Sue and Steve heading towards home, it's time to pick up the tempo. Time is running out just a little bit. But you know, we've got to push hard and get it done. Tommy adds handy hooks to hang the garden tools to make them easy for Sue to find. That's it, perfect. Well, that's a very pretty little cabinet, isn't it? You like that? Yeah. I love the colour. Yeah, nice blue for Sue. Have you got a lift here in the place? Yeah, let's do it. We can roll it in. Yeah, let's roll it, yeah. Nice, Age then. before beauty. You keep saying that. <laughs> There's just time for some finishing touches. And they're done. Tommy and Asha leave Maxine behind to welcome Sue and Steve. Stephen. Thank you. Do you know what Tommy's done for you? Tommy just did what maybe is a bit too too hard for you, Susan. He swept the path and jetted it. He had one oh, of them fancy jet things. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, Can yeah. you see? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's great. <laughs> Sue had no time to maintain the pathways and shed roof, so moss, lichen and algae had built up. Now, with a thorough jet wash, they're clear. Wonderful man. Great, oh, that's, yeah. that's a really good job. Can't wait to show you the next bit. <gasps> Follow me. Look the, yeah, look at the path. Yes, yeah, blimp. Sue had no room to carry out her charity work packing bird seed. She battled the elements outside or tripped over clutter in the shed. Now, with a specially designed cabinet, she and her friends can pack in the revamped she shed or roll the unit into the garden. Come on in. I'm going to get you through. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my. Some new shelves. They're amazing. Look. Yes, <laughs> it's lovely. It's great. It's fantastic. It's just what you yeah. wanted. Yeah, it's more of a... Well, it's Maybe. more of a place to be. There's now plenty of space for Steve to access this area, which has been opened up to link harmoniously with the garage. Look at this. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember what it was like it before? Was, it was all broken bricks. Now it looks... Asher did that. That is oh, really that good. Is that brilliant. Is brilliant. brilliant, isn't it? That's really yeah. good. Yeah. It's amazing. And we can sit here and do my seed. 
This is your, your I love shoe shape. I love this. This is great. No, it's great. Oh, it's more. And then, yeah. Oh, used to use to be up here. Do you remember this? Oh, well, it was rusted. What I would have done, it would have gone in the back of the car. Ah! Down to the council. Ah! I never thought of that. Never thought of that. You've got 40 years on this now. <laughs> yeah. And we've got our seed packets there. And the, the bags are in there, in the cupboard. <gasps> That's brilliant. Brilliant. And look at where the bird that seed is. It's going to be so easy to lift out. I mean, you could actually come up here and have a cup of tea and do you it. You can have a cup. Do yeah. you know what? Guess what? The table can pull out. We've put it on casters. Oh, and you can pull out, you can put it in the middle, and you can sit round it. That, yes! It's amazing. Uh, if I could, I would give you a big hug. And you did all there. Mm. You deserve it because you do so much and you're, so doing, nice. you're doing what Stephen used to do. Yeah. Oh, you gave me all cheery there. This is absolutely... Brilliant. Brilliant. Couldn't have dreamt of doing this, couldn't have thought of it. Has added value to the house. <laughs> <laughs> this will see us out until we're 92, won't it? <laughs> if I live that long, I should be very happy. <laughs> oh, Susan, you deserve this. It's very good. Yeah, because she's caring for you. She looks after me very well. Mm -hmm. Why well, do I deserve it? <laughs> <laughs> you deserve Susan as well, yeah, and, and a special place. I thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Honestly, everybody's been brilliant. It's been and a it's pleasure. And it's been so nice. You've made an excellent job of it. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Okay, yeah. then. Bye bye. Bye, bye bye. Do you know, Sue and Stephen are absolutely sweet. They're so sweet. And do you know what? They deserve this space. It's good, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad they're happy. And they've seen and noticed the change that Tommy, Asher and I have made. And I'm off now. My day's done. We'll be all right now, sat out here, doing the yeah, bags. it's going to be good. We'll have to have an opening party. Yeah. Champagne and birdseed. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Absolutely fantastic. And it doesn't take long before Sue's revamped and welcoming she shed is shown off. As her birdseed packing friends join her around the new table. This cabinet has really been useful in that we can keep the bags that we pack it in, the labels, and also the, the tray all in one place when we come out to do it. And then we just sit around, we usually have cups of tea, and um, it is just so useful. Then when we've finished, everything gets packed away in the corner again, and I can still use the space in the, in the garage. There you are, all mostly put away again. Oof. It's easy, it's light. Um, it's great. But the main difference is that Steve can now get about more easily. <laughs> <laughs>